Time to go back in time with Backtracks, a look at Chicago's colorful public transit history. The most profound change in public transit in Chicago came in the early 1890s with the construction of an elevated line to the south side. Here, workers guide a steel beam for the 35th Street Station. Bowlers served as hard hats for that time. A harbinger of changes to come was advertised on the front of this cable car, being readied for service outside the car barn on Cottage Grove at 38th. In the early 1900s, horses moved cars in and around the barn. Chicago's first motor buses entered service in 1917. They were open-top double-deckers, like the ones shown here, heading downtown on Sheridan Road. A new level of comfort greeted streetcar passengers in 1929 with a Surface Line's purchase of 100 single-ended cars with leather bucket seats for 60 passengers. Passengers entered the front of the so-called sedan cars but didn't pay their fares until they passed a conductor on their way out the back exit. This car was among a group of streetcars from J.G. Brill of Philadelphia that were called muzzle loaders in the 1930s. Riders had to board and alight at the front of the car where the conductor stood right behind the motorman to collect fares. It may have been rush hour, but this line of streetcars heading downtown on Milwaukee near Erie wasn't going anywhere fast in 1947. There were no expressways to accommodate the traffic at the time. That's it for this episode of Backtracks. Now, back to the present.